Climate change is the biggest threat facing our planet today. The cause is greenhouse gas, mainly carbon dioxide, created by us. Some sources are obvious, some aren't. But every year, we in Peterborough are responsible for producing almost one and a half million tonnes of the stuff. That's enough to fill this every two minutes. A certain amount of greenhouse gas is a good thing. Without it, the Earth would be too cold to sustain life. The greenhouse effect is something natural. The problem is that we've actually increased the thickness of this layer of greenhouse gases. This blanket around the Earth has got thicker, uh, trapping more energy from the sun and causing the Earth to warm. And that's what we call global warming. It might get warmer, but that's not the whole picture. Over the next 50 years, we can expect more and more extreme weather. While our winters won't be so cold, they'll be wetter, and that extra rain is likely to cause widespread flooding. There'll be more storms and gales, and on top of the rain and floods, well, there'll be drier summers and droughts. So all in all, it's not a great outlook for the next century. The impacts are going to be divided between changes in temperature and changes in animal life distribution. So if summers get hotter, we'll see a repeat of episodes like August 2003, when across the whole of Europe it's estimated that between 35 and 50,000 people died. And malaria, yellow fever, West Nile virus could all appear in Peterborough if the relevant mosquitoes take up their abode in the fens. Another possibility is that melting fresh water in the Arctic changes the Gulf Stream and so puts us under the influence of colder rather than warmer seas, which will mean colder winters and again more people, particularly elderly and vulnerable, dying from the cold. There are a fairly large number of developments sort of in the floodplain, so the river floodplain, um, so that's the problem and we think that there will certainly be an increase in flood risk from there. One far more serious longer term issue uh, relating to climate change is we also expect sea level rise. Now our current predictions are that by 2080 we're going to see somewhere up to just under a metre of sea level rise. Uh, so that's not likely to affect uh, Peterborough. However, there are signs and some scientists are looking at various uh, ice bodies around the world and particularly the West Antarctic ice sheet, uh, the Greenland ice sheets, which are showing signs of melting faster than had previously been expected. Now the problem is if, if one of those, uh, or either half of either of those, melts completely, we will see a seven metre sea level rise. Now that would be absolutely devastating for the, for the whole of the uh, east of England and particularly would uh, cover large parts of uh, Peterborough in water. <laughs>